For some pet owners, feeding raw food to Fido is a natural choice. It harkens back to the common ancestor of all dog breeds, the wolf. In the wild, wolves eat raw meat and occasionally some greens. So the theory goes that dogs are genetically predisposed to thrive on a raw meat diet. Dogs have been domesticated for thousands of years, but when it comes to their diet, they can still go a little wild. Raw canine cuisine may be a foreign concept to some pet owners, but it's becoming more mainstream. The makers of raw dog food often mix fruits and vegetables with meat to provide fiber and create a balanced meal. The process starts with a lot of slicing and dicing. A food worker chops the fruits and veggies into smaller pieces, so they'll be able to go through a grinder more easily. He also removes the seeds from the apples and the squash because the seeds aren't as easily digested as the rest of the fruit and provide no additional nutrition. This raw pet food recipe calls for a variety of fruits and vegetables, though in total, they will comprise just 5% of the meal. The rest of the raw blend will consist of meat, bones, organs, and fish. Another food worker chops up the chicken, which has been organically raised and has even been approved for human consumption. Except for the breasts, all the parts of the chicken will be used in the main recipe. This includes the heart, liver, gizzards, and the bones. Raw whole sardines, anchovies, and mackerel will add essential fatty acids to the raw chicken blend. All the ingredients have been prepared and are now ready for grinding. A worker feeds the components to the grinder in small batches, interspersing the meat, fish, and the vegetables. This ensures even distribution as the grinder minces everything to a uniform particle size. The result is a thick emulsion of finely ground chicken meat, bones, vegetables, fruits, and fish. She transfers the minced raw ingredients to a mixer. The revolving paddles further blend the food. After about five minutes in the mixer, all the ingredients have been combined into one homogeneous raw mass. This chicken blend is now complete. The worker divides it into five pound batches and scoops it into bags. She vacuum seals the bag. Removing all the air inside will allow the raw blend to stay fresh longer. Refrigerated, it should last for up to 10 days. And if frozen, it should be good for several months. For the furry members of the family, dinner is ready to be served. To make some raw pet snacks, a worker deshells New Zealand green-lipped mussels, a species that is believed to have fast-acting anti-inflammatory properties. After she cuts the mussels free from the shells, she places them on racks for air drying. She transfers the rack into a drying tent where fans keep air circulating 24 hours a day. As the mussels dry, they shrink. After 72 hours in the tent, the moisture content is substantially reduced. Air drying has preserved the flesh of the mussels in the raw state, while preventing damage to the nutrients and enzymes they contain. Now preserved, she packs the mussels into plastic bags and adds an iron oxide packet to absorb oxygen and prevent spoilage. This raw pet food is now ready to nourish the wolf in your dog.